A clean cab company says they are on the verge of shutting down shop because of competition from Uber and Lyft. But while there are ways they can become more competitive, they need cooperation from the city council. Channel 6 News reporter Andrew Moore was in Colleen today to find out what the company is asking for. He joins us now in studio with more. Andrew. Chris, Luxury Cab and Colleen says they and other cab companies will go extinct if they don't modernize. But while they would like to compete with Uber and Lyft, city regulations are holding them back. We have to have uh, maps. We have to have all our drivers with safety kits. You probably haven't used a paper map in a while, but Colleen Cab companies must have one with them every day by city law. And that's only the beginning of the regulations that are enforced by inspection. You gotta have the airport signs. They do checks on the hood. They do checks on everything. But it had worked within their business model until Uber and now Lyft came along. Luxury Cab says the re-inspection fees, high insurance costs, and city rules about solicitation now put them at a clear disadvantage to rideshare companies who aren't required to follow any of those regulations. And while Uber's app will select a driver nearby, they say city rules prohibit cabs from waiting around city hotspots. You no, know, we can't just post up at, at, at different, at different uh, places and, 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 and flag customers. But at an April 4th meeting, the Colleen City Council voted 6-1 to take no action on the matter. They will wait to change the ordinances or pass any rideshare regulations until after the Texas legislature considers several bills on the issue. The only vote to take action on regulations came from Councilman Gregory Johnson. It was one of the first ones to place this item on the agenda after talking to one of the owners of the tax cab industry. Uh, and I'm, I'm tired of talking about it. He wants the council to step up and cut red tape to help the companies now. But he also wants to see local cab companies put in the effort to modernize. The tax cab industry has to evolve uh, like every other business uh, uh, has had to. But Luxury Cab says with those current rules, they are just stuck. If something doesn't happen real soon, dealing with the city council and they, they come up with a solution, we're, we we we're probably not going to make it. In, we're probably not going to make it another year. Unfortunately, Johnson says the council will not be taking another look at cab ordinances until June at the earliest. But he plans to be prepared to make some recommendations. Chris, all right, Andrew, thanks so much.